Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new and if you're returning, welcome back. Happy to have you all here. And every Friday I try to do a Fashion Friday video. I skipped last Friday because we were at Coachella, but regularly I try to get them on here. So for today's video, as you guys can tell from the title, I'm gonna be going over shoe trends, what shoes to wear, where to buy them, how to style them for this spring and summer. And I usually do a seasonal trend video for each season every year, but it's usually more about clothes. Sometimes there's some shoes in there, but I have started doing a couple for just shoes for the seasons because shoes are hard sometimes. They're a really fun part of dressing and styling as well, but it can be really hard to figure out what is the shoe of the season, what looks good with the things that we're wearing, how to style it, where to buy them. So I got you covered for all of that. I will link everything that I can in the description box per usual. Also for these videos, I gather inspiration from doing a little bit of research. I'll look on websites like Harper's Bazaar, Marie Claire, Cosmopolitan, Vogue, things like that. And then of course I'll go on social media, see what's kind of going on around there and also just street style and things around me. So I'll link some articles that I looked into. Obviously this is just my interpretation and what I'm inspired by, um, but feel free to dive deeper if that works for you as well. And let's get to it. All right, this first style that I want to share with you guys is platform sandals. So I have this pair here that I've been wearing actually nonstop. So many of you have already bought them, so hopefully they're not sold out. These are from ASOS. They are so fun. They're so cute. They're really comfortable as well. This style is just huge. Platforms have been really in style for the past couple of years in all the seasons in different variations. So I have quite a few platform sandals in my collection thus far, but they can be really hard to find because they sell out really fast and they're just so darn cute. So I get why. I also have a really cute white pair that's more of like a strappy sandal. I got those from Princess Polly. I think they're already sold out. I posted them on Instagram. Um, none of you could get them, I don't think, because they already sold out. But they have similar ones. So ASOS has really good ones. Princess Polly. Those are honestly the two places that I've gotten my favorite platform sandals from. Also misguided. Steve Madden has some as well. And they're just so freaking cute really nice like slip on as well and it gives a little bit of height if you're more on the shorter side like myself for the outfit that i styled with those today i just have a pair of cargo jeans nice and baggy it kind of goes with the platform style for like a 90s inspo so i actually did this little black tank just a plain tank and then a green bag to match that a nice little pop but platform sandals are super easy to style. They look great with shorts, they look great with dresses, with pants, and they're just a staple shoe for this season because they're gonna go with everything. They look good, they're easy to slip on, and you look good. All right, the next style we're gonna talk about is these super high platform heels. I'm sure you guys have seen these all over social media. The Versace ones are kind of the most viral, I would say. There's lots of dupes for those as well because obviously not everyone can afford a super expensive heel like that i'm not even like a big heel girl so it would be hard for me to pull the trigger on those but i do have these that i actually got in the winter these are from misguided and i'm afraid they're sold out but i will link similar ones for you guys i think amazon has some misguided might have some other ones and naked wolf has some very iconic ones that are also very viral much more affordable than the first versace ones and they're just fun chunky heels steve madden has some as well and what I love about these and the platform sandals they kind of give those Bratz doll vibes very 90s kind of sassy and again if you're on the shorter side it's so nice to have a little bit of height here platform heels are actually pretty easy to walk into in my opinion not being the biggest heel girl so I love that aspect of it they're just chunky and they make your foot look cute um, a nice black pair is a really good style to have because they go with so many things but it's also really fun to have like a nice pop of color in this platform style like I did with the sandals. For today's style with that I wanted to do something a little more dressed up obviously because it's a huge heel and that feels very dressy to me. So I have these butter yellow slacks which is literally the prettiest color. I'm obsessed with it. It's my favorite color of life. I always say I don't know what that means really. Green is actually my favorite color but specifically this yellow has 
such a hold over me. I've always wanted a house this color. I don't know, I'm just very, I just feel in love with this color. They look really nice with the color black because they're so soft and black is more harsh. It's a really good contrast. So I paired that with this Jacquemus top that I got on our trip to Canada. Really fun little top and it's just a cute, sassy, fun, dressed up outfit with the platform shoes and they are great for things like that. They look really good with dresses as well. I feel like it's a little too feminine for my personal taste to wear the super high heels and then also a dress so I went with a pant to kind of tone that down a bit but it looks great either way. The next style that we're going to talk about is very fun and it's rain boots. So I live in a place that doesn't rain that much. I actually love the rain. It makes me super happy. Obviously if I lived somewhere where it rained all the time maybe I would feel differently but I, I've just always loved the rain since I was little and it did rain more where I grew up. I love rain boots too. I think they're so fun they're very flattering in my opinion they give off this kind of outdoorsy rugged feel that i love and i think that it pairs really nicely against something more feminine this is the balenciaga croc collab i invested in these because even though it doesn't rain a lot i think i can get so much use out of these for so many years just doing anything outdoorsy traveling with them and maybe i'll live somewhere where it rains more soon who, who knows but i love them and they're just chunky again kind of make your foot look cute i love proportionally when there is a big shoe on the bottom i just think that it looks really nice they're really comfy as well i was also really inspired by the rain boot trend from bottega bonetta boots the puddle boot particularly clayton has those they're super fun i have like a clog rubber feel to them but i just think they're fun so i think this is a little more out there maybe not for everyone but i love it and it's perfect especially for spring and i love these paired with anything that kind of shows the leg with them a pair of shorts a dress a skirt i think looks so cute but they also look good with pants if you tuck the pants into them Kanye styled them that way and actually really liked it. He's kind of like an inspo for the rain boots, to be honest. And the outfit that I styled with them is actually this pair of little loungewear shorts. So kind of just keeping it casual and laid back in the rain boots. I love that feel. And then this little black tank, just a plain tank. And then I have this rainbow knit sweater it's very thin it's perfect for spring and summer and i thought that it was cute with the rain boots because a rainbow comes after the rain and just kind of this like preppy feel to it tied around the shoulder or something with the rain boots i thought was so cute so obviously again this is a designer shoe not everyone wants a to spend all that money on a rain boot so some other good places to get rain boots i would say is asos i feel like i see them a lot at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, cheaper ones, obviously, which is great. We love a bargain. All right, this next one, I actually don't have an outfit styled for it because I ordered a pair of shoes that fits this genre and they haven't come yet. So I'm just gonna put some inspo pics of kind of what I'm inspired by, but it's the rubber slide. But this carries over from last year and this was really big with the Yeezy like pillow slides. And the pair that I ordered is also a Yeezy pair, but they're not the pillow ones i forget what they're called this is terrible of me but i'll find the name and the picture and i'll put them on the screen but they're the more like futuristic looking ones i guess definitely a little more out there again not for everyone and that's totally fine but i love the way that these look with anything loungy and super laid back so whether you're going with the more kind of streamlined pillow version that has the cleaner lines or if you're doing something more out there and futuristic like the ones i'm referencing i think that these are just perfect with sweats and any kind of loungewear look all spring and summer so i love that um these are super easy to get on like amazon and etsy they're literally Really just like a foam shoe so they're super easy to come by and unfortunately the easy ones are always sold out and then they just resale for much more than they're actually sold for which is annoying but that's just kind of how this shoe game works sometimes so yeah etsy amazon anywhere like that you can get these sort of easy foam slides that are just super cute and comfy. All right, this next one is a personal favorite. And even though I'm not a big heels girl, I've been so into this lately. So it's just colorful heels in general. I've been styling them so much and this carries over from last year a bit too because this pair that I actually own is from last year. I have these in another color as well. I have them in like the color of this sweater, a pink and they're steve madden they're these really fun strappy bright stilettos they look 
so good with everything. I honestly am so surprised. These are one of my easiest shoes to style. Again, I'm still not like a huge heel girl. I love styling them. I just don't love like wearing and walking in them, but there's always a time and a place for a heel. And when I find an opportunity, a pop of color on the heel is just everything to me. So some good places to get colorful heels would be Steve Madden. I also have some pairs from Miss Lola. I have a really cute orange pump heel pair from ASOS. I have a really cute bright green pair from Nasty Gal and I have a really cute blue pair from Misguided. So I would say that those are all good places to get those. The way that I styled them today, I actually love this outfit too. I have just this black pair of denim. These are distressed high-waisted baggy denim from Pretty Little Thing and they're one of my most worn pairs of jeans actually. And then this little like waffle knit tank top this is from revolve so super simple plain basic outfit and then this little bag this is the jody from bottega i love this like simple outfit with these pops of color in the bag and the shoes generally speaking a pop of color and accessories whether it's shoes bags hair eyewear is such a nice way to elevate an outfit and i just love the way that turned out it's perfect for wearing to a dinner or some kind of function date night so please try colorful heels all right this next style is also a heel i mean i'm just going with the trends and what inspired me again still not the biggest heel girl but like i like to style them so hopefully you guys get what i'm saying this is the pillow heel trend basically it's like a very padded heel a very kind of like cushiony padded look so i have this pair from express i also have these in lavender really cute but i'm styling the black pair today because it's a little more wearable and functional i would say and i just showed you guys other colorful heels but black heel goes with everything and this is a really cute silhouette and everything as well so it's very simple we just have the ankle strap and then the toe strap and it looks so nice it's not a super high heel which i love and it also has a zipper which is nicer than the buckles in my opinion anything that just kind of has this cushiony pillowy look to it there's a few variations i'll put some more info pics on the screen i love it because it just makes it a little more comfy and a little more padded like bottega veneta the woven ones are very like cushiony and padded they're kind of like cloud like so we love that for us the way that i styled these today is actually oh my god is actually with this oversized blazer so this is kind of like a muted neon color it might be hard to tell on camera but that is what it's like a nice oversized kind of springy summery color and then my go-to vintage chanel bag from retouch it's literally the best bag ever and then a pair of denim shorts so super kind of simple classic outfit and then i just have like a black basic underneath that as well so there's black accents throughout and everything's just kind of chic and simple otherwise but it's still very springy summery with the shorts and then the super clean nice heel with a little bit of cushion padding look to make it a little more trendy but overall it's still just a really seamless clean kind of classic look and for places to buy shoes like this I got these from Express and they have them in other colors so obviously there I also have a pair that I got last summer that kind of fits this bill from Pretty Little Thing and I've seen some on Amazon as well so that's kind of my advice for where to shop those this next one i also don't have a pair of shoes for or an outfit for so i'll just put inspo up on the screen but it is the caged heel look and i actually love these heels the bottega one they're just really cute i love a square toe and i see that a lot with this trend just like going off of the bottega one it's edgy it's fun to have that kind of mesh cage look to them i love those in a pop of color as well if i were to get them i would get like the green ones or the yellow ones the orange ones i probably wouldn't do like a neutral just because i think it's it's just a perfect shoe to have a little fun with so i love those i think they look really good with like cargo pants dresses jeans shorts they're like strappy and funky and fun and i just i'm really into them i actually ordered like a dupe pair from amazon but they haven't come yet and i feel like i've also seen dupe like pairs on miss lola public desire has them as well so that's where i would point you guys to go there it's, it's kind of just a cute fun trend so 
maybe we don't need to invest that seriously in them or maybe you like try a dupe and if you love them that's when you invest in the Bottega. Spend. The next shoe I'm going to share with you guys is just a personal fave one that I've been wearing so much so I had to include it in here and that is just my dunks. I last year I have like two really funky kind of colorful pairs of dunks that I was wearing last year. Those were really fun. They're also perfect for spring and summer. I don't really wear them in the winter but just this year I got some more neutral dunks that I've been wearing throughout the winter. They're like a great shoe for that. I just don't wear the colorful ones in the winter because my wardrobe is usually very neutral. But I'm loving the neutral ones in the spring and summer this year too, just because they don't need to be super bright and loud to be cute with an outfit. So I would wear these with the outfit that I have on today or just with sweats or with dresses. Honestly, I love dunks. Like I love Jordans, I love Air Force Ones, I just love Nike sneakers, so they go with everything. You can't really go wrong with them. This is the navy pair. I also have a black pair. So the way that I styled those, I'm sorry, is with a bodysuit. This is the famous Zara bodysuit from years ago. And then some navy blue trousers, so it kind of just matches seamlessly. It's perfect for the clean girl look. Everything about this is very simple, clean lines, basic. And then this Gucci Jackie O bag. It's a vintage one. I love it. It's so fun. And yeah, this is just a clean girl simple outfit and it looks so good with dunks it's super comfy where i get my dunks is usually StockX, ebay or goat by the way and they run true to size i would say and the next one is also just a personal fave one that i wear all the time it's not really a trend i mean it is trending more than it used to be i guess so we'll go with that but where are they my beloved converse so this pair is actually a custom pair this is like a nice forest green color super cute and this is the lift converse so it's a platform i've raved about these for years i'm obsessed with them they're so comfy they're so freaking cute and they go with everything so i don't know what else we could want for in a shoe and i usually get my converse just from the converse website or if they're sold out sometimes they have them at this place called off broadway shoes or dsw but i usually just go directly through converse next shoe is something that's been really fun for a couple of years too and definitely carries over into different seasons but i've seen it a lot everywhere still and i'm loving it for kind of spring summer styling as well and that is a loafer so i've had these for a few years i think these are from asos that is definitely one of my favorite places to browse for loafers i also have a pair off amazon from sam edelman i think that's like pretty much the only places i know of for loafers off the top of my head anyways and the way that i styled them is really cute so i took this t-shirt this is actually clayton's i'd steal it every day pretty much um, just a plain white t-shirt with some denim shorts these are like non-distressed rolled high-waisted light wash denim shorts and then over top i just put an oversized black blazer to tie in with the loafers and it gives a nice kind of schoolgirl, a little bit masculine workwear feel to it as well and it's just a really cute outfit i paired it with my favorite little jody bag as well and Loafers are super easy to style. I love them like that for the little masculine touch to it. But since they are, they kind of give me like schoolgirl, schoolboy feel anyways. You could even wear them with jeans, like a little cuffed jean or trouser would be super cute as well. So really easy shoe to style and very timeless. The next one is a kitten heel. And I love this because since I'm not a huge heel girl, this is much easier and more maintainable for me to like walk in. I actually got these vintage Chanel kitten heels in canada at the retail store while we were there they were so nice they were literally the sweetest people i love these they're so chic very classy and they have this little sling back this little patent toe they just exude classy energy to me and i feel like a kitten heel in general just seems so classy because it's not overdoing it it's not over the top and it just looks nice still so the way that i styled these is with some leather pants these are some like cigarette leather pants from misguided and then this is a vintage chanel bag a little white and black chanel bag and then i have this corset um this is from meow i think is how you pronounce it that 
that brand on Revolve and this is like the best corset ever. I wear it in a size extra small just for reference because like I am fuller chested but it's it doesn't have like adjusting so I need it to be smaller on the waist so if you guys are wondering it's just really cute it's like the best corset ever so that's just a nice seamless all black look super classy and chic again to go with the kitten heels and i love something like that with the kitten heels a long like slip dress would look super nice anything with trousers or pants just a little elevated and dressy i think is really nice i wouldn't wear like a short dress with kitten heels i don't know why maybe it's just my body type but that's not ringing true for me like a longer slip dress or a pair of trousers or pants I think is perfect and for places to shop them obviously like a vintage pair is super fun but I also have a really cute simple black strappy pair from misguided I also have a pair from miss Lola that are really cute and I'd say that's like pretty much where I would point you guys for those ones okay this next style is really fun it's something different I don't have anything like this in my closet and I don't know if I have for my entire adult life. These little wedge mules are so cool. These are from the brand Ray on Revolve. And I honestly don't know if I've owned any wedges. For places to shop shoes like this, I would say Revolve. I saw some other really cute ones on there. Also Nordstrom has some. And off the top of my head, like those are the two places that I would send you guys. There's tons of variety on both those websites, so it should be good. But I love this because it's kind of nostalgic to like the 90s and the 2000s. I feel like our moms wore heels when, or wore wedges when we were growing up and it just seems definitely more from that era. I also love the acrylic heel or acrylic wedge, I should say. Really fun, different, a little bit funky. And the way that I styled those today was with this kind of funky outfit. I posted this on TikTok because I know this just won't be everyone's cup of tea, which is fine because I feel like this pair of shoes is probably kind of more niche anyways, but this outfit is just a little more funky and fun. I have these oversized cargo pants from Urban Outfitters and then these glasses are from Arnett. They're kind of giving gas station glasses, but for once they're not from the gas station. It's kind of like a race car feel with those glasses and this top. This little graphic tank from Princess Polly. It's got the race car things going on. It's just a fun kind of, I don't even know what this outfit. It kind of gives pop star vibes to me. And then this vintage Louis Vuitton bag that is actually my mom. So I think that's really fun. I love this style of shoe with cargo pants, the baggy cargo pants that are so in. I actually have a video on styling cargo pants if you guys need inspo for that. If I wore them with a dress, I'd probably do a longer bodycon style dress. Seems to fit this to me. I don't know if I would do anything short. Like, I don't know if I would wear these with shorts. I feel like it doesn't look right to me for my proportions, but I like them with like a bag pant or like a long like a midi bodycon dress so good start and then the last shoe trend that I'm gonna share with you guys is another personal fave something that I just wear all the time and it has been trending a lot so it's vintage inspired sneakers is what I like to call them they just kind of have like a vintage look and feel to them so these are the New Balance 550s you guys have probably seen these all over social media they have an ALD collab as well that is super popular and it's everywhere but you know what I mean they just give this vintage look to them our dads and grandpas would wear these and that is very different from an Air Force One well actually my dad has Air Force Ones but you know what I'm saying New Balance is great for this I think pretty much all of their styles kind of give off this feel and then the Reebok ones I have two pairs of Reebok sneakers the CC Club I think they're called those are perfect for this kind of vintage inspired sneaker as well they're like sold out everywhere I think but places to shop them I usually get my New Balance either directly from New Balance on Nordstrom or Zappos or StockX GOAT eBay situation and for the Reeboks I've actually gotten all of my pairs from Urban Outfitters but I think Amazon sells them as well and DSW but they're really hard to find in stock so I'll link what I can for you guys but that style is so good to wear with dresses like little sundresses with shorts lounge shorts or denim shorts or like linen shorts and with trousers and jeans they pretty much go with anything and everything once again which we love and they're super comfy so the way that I styled them today is really simple I have this pair of Boyd sweatshirts shorts these are sold out they're from last year but we might have some new sweatshirts coming soon you heard it here first and just a plain black 
tank and it's just like a really simple easy laid back outfit and then i have a pair of socks with these as well that are like the scrunchy they kind of look like leg warmer socks those are from amazon i'll link them for you guys but they go perfect with that vintage style and it's just a really cute way to kind of elevate your sneakers and play into this specific style so that is it for this video i hope it was helpful this is my complete roundup of what i think are the best shoes to style for this spring and summer where to shop them how to wear them so i hope this was helpful for you guys if you have requests for other videos you can always drop them in the comments and as always i'm so grateful for you guys watching so i'll see you next time Thank you.